so what's going on everybody my name is mehul and welcome back to this video in which after you have installed your shiny new wsl not really wsl the new microsoft terminal we would be customizing it a little bit so now you would have seen that you have this windows terminal dev built and i have a whole video on that link is in the description if you want to check that out so once you launch this you see that you get a terminal something like this now your terminal designs might differ you know this uh, color scheme might differ everything might differ right it depends on how you customize it so i'm just going to go through over some of the common options which we have for customization at the moment so you see that right now what we have is that when we go to settings we obviously get some sort of json file getting opened which obviously would not be the case once it's made public it would probably have a, a better editing place right but if i go ahead and beautify this and if i go ahead and paste it back what we're gonna see is for my terminal we have something like a default profile as the first key initial rows initial columns always show tab show terminal title in ta title bar experimental show tabs in title bar so you could pretty much go ahead and mess with these true false values and see what works for you and what does not right but what i want to discuss is basically some key fields right here right the first one being these guids right so a lot of people have asked me that do they need to be unique do they need to be unique are they unique to your system where to find them and whatever so it does not really matter you can go ahead and google some sort of uid generator and create random uids and assign them right here it does not really matter it's not specific to any application or something they just need to be distinct among themselves right so this should not collide with this one right and so on and so forth all right so we have an, an array here called profiles which consists of an array of objects right json objects and each of this profile is actually the icon which is the actually the entry which is displayed here right so if i go ahead and let's say if i do something like if i change this from cmd to cmd again right uh let's make this 902 or some sort of thing right and if i go ahead and just save this what we're gonna see is we get a cmd again entry here right so you see that we could pretty much mess around with the profiles here to add the icons to add those entries right other than that if you see name is the name which appears here as we just saw right color scheme is the color scheme you want in that particular terminal i have a bunch of color schemes in the in my profiles.json file which you could use like which includes ubuntu legit ubuntu solarized light solarized dark campbell right so you can go ahead and replace it with that again the link of this uh, profiles.json file is in the description you can check that out I actually got this from one of the blog articles a developer at microsoft wrote so that's not a big deal but uh, yeah then we have a history size which should not really matter a lot right now snap on input and uh, you can just play around with the boolean values to see what they do cursor color cursor shape all those things then comes the important part command line right so what command line basically means what do you want to run when you click on that particular terminal right so right here if we see um somebody pointed out in me uh in the uh, youtube comments on the last video that i'm including a slash distribution ubuntu 18.04 which i probably should not and that's right because it might be different distribution for you and it won't work that way so here we are right so yeah there we go other than that command line basically would require you to add an executable here and how do you check whether this command line is working or not if you just go to run that is command r uh, not really command windows r and then paste that powershell.exe thing right so if it opens that means it's in your path correctly and you can directly go ahead and use it right then we have font face for the terminal font size acrylic opacity which is kind of this thing if you see uh okay so it kind of like 
you know compresses it every time it launches the terminal right so you see you see this sort of thing this sort of thing right here that the background is blood so if i minimize this you could be able to see that the same effect is uh, observed here as well so you could pretty much mess around with this effect by using this acrylic opacity what we have in here right and then this flag close on exit uh padding basically just mess around with these true false values to see what they do then we have another another field called icon so i discussed a little bit on that uh in the last video but i'll just discuss more on this one so if you want you can go ahead and give it a like an absolute path of c users uh and i'm not even sure like you have to double escape it c users you know your name then desktop and so on and so forth but what the standard actually is is that just you just do this ms dash app data then roaming and then the image name and where is this folder exactly where it would look for well you have to just go to command uh, uh not to really command control and just write app data here and it's not not actually app data it's actually local app data right local app data search for this folder called packages right and once you're in this folder search for this windows terminal dev right and then you can just go to this uh, roaming state folder and you can paste these icons and basically this is the actual place where your profiles.json file is also present right so it should make sense that it's you know placed in that one so anyway if you cannot for any reason find this particular path you can always place these icons at your desktop or any other folder you like and just you make use of regular your old school c users that particular path right it should also work yeah apart from this yeah i guess that's pretty much it you would need to customize your terminal right now if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like the video and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so i'll see you then in some other one